everyone! Today I'm here to show you my toy collection. Um, I just thought this would be a fun video to do since I feel like my toy collection is getting pretty big currently. Um, so, um, yeah, not much more to say than that, so let's just get started. Um, so the first major part of my collection is the pony part of it because it's because um, my toy collecting started when I was getting into ponies again in 2011 when the new series started and they had all the new toys and stuff. So, um, so it kind of starts with the brushable ponies. These were the first ones I was buying and the first one I got was actually this one. But her hair is getting a little messy so when I got this duplicate Pinkie Pie over here um, I customized this one to be like a Cupcakes Pinkie Pie. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with the fan fiction, but that's what she's based off of. And she wouldn't be Cupcake's Pinkie Pie without her um, her little massacred rainbow dash. So there she is, right there. And um, I don't think I really want to go through the order of which I got these, but whatever. Um, so yeah, here they all are. I have the Cutie Mark Crusaders and Sheer Lee. Um, and I have um, Lyra... Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, Twilight, Applejack, and I'll get to that pony in a second. Um, and then there's two rarities, and because I got this one duplicate right here, um, because she came in a two-pack with this Luna over here, and I really wanted Luna, so I was like, okay, I'll get a duplicate. <laughs> um, anyways, so here's Fluttershy, Sunset Shimmer, Trixie, and back to the Pinkie Pie again, and that awesome Celestia that I found at a yard sale for only 25 cents, and I just like flipped out when I found her. So she's extra cute and I love her. And there's Luna right there, super cute. Dead Rainbow Dash, Blind Bag Derpy, and a little galaxy pony that I made. This pony is supposed to be kind of like a little galaxy print, I'm not sure if you can see how I tried to do that there. She was painted all in nail polish, and this one was also painted in nail polish. It's an old Lily Blossom figurine, but I made it into um, a derpy, so. And there's some extra doll hair because I just kept that around. Because I'm re-hairing a doll right now. Um, so yeah, I just kept her hair since I thought, you know, might as well keep it around in case I need it for something. I might use it for like a derpy in the future, but I don't really know. There's a little bag of accessories because it's mostly just combs because the ponies like always come with combs. So there's like a million brushes and combs in there. Um, I'll get to these pets in a second, but first let's go through all the pony stuff. So this little pony, like I said, I was going to get to. I have to be very careful with him. He's very delicate. This is, I mean, some of you might recognize him, but this is, um, my Freddy Krueger pony. Um, none of you have seen this particular one yet, but I was just wondering if anyone really knew who the character was. Yeah, this is an Applejack figurine. It's not that I had a duplicate, I had to go out and buy another Applejack, because I really, really wanted to make him. And he was originally painted with nail polish, and then I repainted him with acrylic paint. And currently his paint is still chipping, and it's really, really annoying. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with him, but he just sits on the shelf. He's not very good for play and stuff. He doesn't do very well. His paint chips very easily. And here are his little knives on one of his hooves. And funny thing about this Applejack figure, it actually came with a hat. I was so afraid that I thought I had to make a hat. But no, like, she came with a hat. I mean, but it, it was blue, but I painted it uh, brown, so it worked out in the end. And I just painted all the sweaters since that's easy. And if you were curious, he has just some knives for a cutie mark because I didn't know what else to put there. <laughs> and I was too lazy to make the glove and whatever. He was probably, like, one of my first customs, so... I was lazy with him. And up here are my Equestria Girls. Now the thing about all the dolls I have, um, the fact that I have all these dolls makes me want to dress them up in different outfits and in each other's clothes. So none of them are in their original clothes. Well, some of them are, but mostly they're not. So over here I have the basic Pinkie Pie, and this Twilight and this Sunset Shimmer from the two-pack. And this is Through the Mirror Twilight, and this is Rainbow Rock singing Twilight. Yes, she works. I'm Twilight Sparkle! Yep, so there she is. I, I, I absolutely adore her outfit. And Kate, and actually, um, those of you who may know, in case you don't know, this Twilight and this Twilight were my first ever toy review ever. 
it was a very horrible toy review, but hey, <laughs> but you know, you can go check that out. I also customized this Pinkie Pie here. Um, I repainted her top and I put that little pink heart there and I made that little vest for her. I painted on her skirt a little and I repainted her boots. So there's her boots and I tied her hair up because it just looks adorable that way. In the middle here is just some cool stuff I just want to get across so no one's asking a million questions about it. Um, this is my Invader Zim box set. It is entirely covered up by convention badges and um, um, headbands. And then you have some headbands. Those are buttercream sundae headband ears that I made like for a cosplay. Um, yeah. And these are all my convention badges. Every single one. So I'm just going to go through them really quickly just to show you how many I have. Uh, let me try and do them in order. So, in order from the first convention that I ever went to, to the most recent one, it goes InvaderCon back in 2011. Um, where's the other one? Oh, there. BronyCon 2012. And then it was, um, yep, ZenkaiCon 2013. And then JCon 2013, and then somewhere around here, where is it? Oh, here it is. BronyCon 2013, under there. Um, and then I went to JCon 2014, and then down here is ZenkaiCon 2014. And then there's just BronyCon 2014. Oh, and I almost forgot. Um, I went to Monster Mania Con in 2014. It's just really a shame that it's just a bracelet. Wait, does it say 2013? Or did I get the year wrong? Okay, well, I'm pretty sure it's just 2014. But yeah, Monster Mania went there. It was a great convention and all, but I just really wish that they would have given us a badge. Because all these badges look so cool and they're all so nice, and now I just have a bracelet there. And these extra badges are artist badges. If you are the artist who made these badges, please comment, tell me so I can credit you. Here's another one. And here's my I Speak Fangirl badge. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Pretty crazy. Lots of conventions I've been to, and I'm going to go to more eventually. So, yep, those are my badges. I, I know this is a toy review thing, but I wanted to get those out of the way since they're there, you know. Over here are my Generation 1 ponies. Yes, I am not kidding. These are legit Gen 1. This is Twilight. This one's Gusty. I still don't know which one this is. This is one of the princess ponies. Um, I think her name is Princess Starburst, but I could be wrong. If you know who she is, all you Gen 1 collectors, leave a comment down below and tell me who she is. She's, um, she's pink. She's got this green color in her hair with some white in her hair and she has a bunch of little seahorses on her side but she's not a sea pony she's a pegasus so if you know who she is let me know and over here is blossom and i just recently added her to my collection because i found her at BronyCon. an awesome girl there was selling lots of gen 1 ponies for very cheap i found this little blossom figurine for um three dollars and she's in really good condition. I didn't have to fix her hair or anything or get rid of marks on her. Didn't need any restoring or anything. She was just perfect. So I'm very happy to have gotten her. And then here's Minty. She's not Gen 1, but she's um, Gen 3. I'm normally not into collecting the Gen 3 ponies, but I absolutely adore Minty. So I just had to have her. <laughs> like, she's so sweet. I love her. And then there's a Tula Rula that I just sort of have. And... Up here is this little Gen 3 pony that I didn't really want that much because I don't collect them, but I wanted to practice customizing, so I made her into a little zombie pony. So there's like her rib cage poking out, there's something wrong with her eye there, or an infection or something, I don't know. Maybe that's why she died, I don't know. <laughs> and then one eye is missing, there's blood everywhere. There's blood coming from her mouth because she eats brains, you know, because she's a zombie, so she's very cute. Um, over here is just a little bit of my Lilith Pet Shop collection. Um, so yeah, there's 
my Pepper Clark that I got from McDonald's, and then there's Vinny and Sweetest Pets Sunil. He's technically Sweetest Pets because he has the frosting on his head. And then there's a little puffin that I have right there. And no, it is not a penguin. It is a puffin. There is a difference. <laughs> a lot of people have called it a penguin. It's a puffin. <laughs> it's a very different thing. <laughs> it's not the same thing. Okay, just up here, these aren't toys, but here are some autographs I've gotten. This is one from Gunnar Hansen, the original Leatherface from the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. And here's my John Delancey autograph, the guy who voiced Discord. So yes. I'm, I'm very happy with those autographs. I have many more autographs than that, but those are just a couple that I have sitting here because I don't know where else to put them, so they're just sort of here. And here are my blind bag ponies. I'm not going to really go through all of them, but some of you who are big collectors like me, you know that some of these are different because they're not normal blind bags. Say, for example, this rarity looks different from that rarity because she came in the My Little Pony busy book, so <laughs> she's... A little different. So I have all the busy book figurines here, and you can see major differences between them. That's an old clay Pinkie Pie that I tried to make like a long, long time ago. Yeah, never finished her. Never did. Just got lazy. And then here's my talking Princess Cadence, who sings and has her wings light up. Oh. So she's very adorable. And this little McDonald's toy fell back. This is one of my, well, actually not one of my, this is the only Moshi Monster thing I have. I never really did play much of Moshi, Moshi Monster, but, uh, or Moshi Monsters, but it was a lot of fun. It's a very cute game. Go check it out if you haven't. It's very fun. And over here is my slowly growing uh, Funko collection. The only Funko things I have are Pop Funkos. I don't have any other, I don't have Mystery Minis or anything like that, just the little Pop Funkos. So, there's that Rainbow Dash that I got around Christmas time from Hot Topic. There's the Jason that I got at Monster Mania. And Fluttershy that I just got at BronyCon this summer. So, there she is. So, there's the main shelf of my collection. Now we're going to move over to um, pets and other miscellaneous toys that I don't have a large collection of. Oh, and before I forget, I always forget these. Um, I have Jack and Sally here. I have them. They're very cute. Okay, and over here are just some of my littlest pets. We'll get to the rest of the little pets later. So, here they are. I have this little colorful panda, this puppy, this little pink uh, hedgehog, porcupine, and this little pony. But this one is a little different, because she's not just any littlest pet shop. She was just a littlest pet shop bunny, and I repainted her to look like Buttercream Sunday from Littlest Pet Shop, the series. And you can see here she got a little smudged. Yeah. Poor bunny. But she looks really good. I really think Buttercream turned out nicely. I just painted her recently, and I'm really, really proud of her. Up here, just randomly, I have a, a picture of um, Ari Roma and Mae Talik from the Novi Stars, because I love Novi Stars. They're so cute. I only have one of them, but you'll see her in a minute. Um... I technically count this little guy as one of my toys. Um, this is Edgar Allan Poe as a little finger puppet. Here, I shall demonstrate to you. See? He's a finger puppet. The reason why he's sticking on to this thing is because he has a magnet in his head. And also, before I forget to mention, in case you didn't notice already, this is a Hot Topic sign. Yeah, yeah, this is a legit Hot Topic sign from one of the stores. It's legit. Um, so it's all metal, and that's why I have all these magnets on it. See, like, there's my Domo magnet, all these Corpse Bride magnets. I just taped on that Pinkie Pie tag thing. And the Hershey's Coco thing when I went to Hershey. And then magnets, magnets, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's, like, the packaging from the Freddy glove that I got. You know, he's taped on there. All right, custom doll I'm working on, you know, <laughs> just random things are just going on right now. Um, oh, did I forget to mention my ugly doll? Did I never mention that I have an ugly doll vinyl figurine right here? Because he's here. I, I feel like I've already mentioned him, but now I'm mentioning, mentioning him a second time. I don't, I don't want to do things like that, but oh well. So here's where every other toy goes that doesn't fit over there. And these toys are usually smaller ones. So, 
because I don't really want to put them with all the ponies and stuff. Like, this has some organization, you know, like, over here are the brushable ponies, there's the equestrian girls, then, like, over there are the Gen 1s, and there's the blind bags and the Funkos. But over here, we just have miscellaneous toys. I technically count these two as toys. Here's my Pinkie Pie and Twilight Sparkle piggy banks. I'm, I'm always saving up my coins in here. See? I'm always saving up. I'm saving up all my coins for new toys. <laughs> um, there's a little uh, figure that I have of Blue from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I got him like ages ago. And here's my Pinkie Cooper doll and my Pepper Parson doll. And that's a dress that I made for her. If you actually want to find out how to make a dress like that, um, I learned how to make it from my Froggy Stuffs video, and I will put like an annotation or a link or something to that if you really want to check that out. But yeah, it's a really awesome, easy tutorial, and it's just really cool. And over here is my Cutie Pops doll that I saved from the Salvation Army. Um, this is Cookie. She didn't come with all her pieces and stuff, so she's, um, yeah, she doesn't have any fun stuff to pop onto her. I mean, you can still pop off her eyes and her head pieces, her little hair pieces, but whatever. And she doesn't have a stand or anything, and I didn't like her when she was sitting here, because I felt like it, like you didn't get to see her very well. So she's borrowing Gulia's stand, since Gulia is sitting down where she's being displayed, and I'll get to the Monster Highs a little later. Let me kneel down here so we can get nice and close with all the other toys. Here's my Movie Maniacs Freddy that I got from... Yeah, my Movie Maniacs Freddy Krueger that I got from uh, Monster Mania when I went there. And you can tell it's the Movie Maniacs Freddy because he comes with this back thing and it says Movie Maniacs down there. And he has his oh, oh, little puppet guy from the Dream Warriors movie, if, you, if anyone remembers. So there's that little dude. He doesn't like to stand up. He doesn't stand up very well. <laughs> yeah, so there's my little Freddy. I love him in pieces. He's very, very cute. I love him. <laughs> it's funny how I say he's cute, but yeah. <laughs> love my little dolly of Freddy. Just love him. Um, I tried to make some, some shoes for Cookie, that's what those little things are, but they don't stay on her feet very well, so she doesn't wear them. <laughs> um, these are some old custom little pet shops that I didn't make. Um, my dad found them on eBay, like, forever ago, and that would be this little turtle who's painted with, like, a little jack-o'-lantern on his shell, and this little ghost bunny, and these, uh, littlest pets that are painted like skeletons. Um, yeah, those aren't my customs, those are just customs that we found online that I thought were really cool. And this is a little elephant that my aunt gave to me when I was, like, five. Um, yeah, I've had that for a long time. There, back there, there's a McDonald's Russell, and these are all my Care Bears figurines. And these are the little Care Bear figurines from the blind bags. You saw me open a few of these, and... They are from the newer series. These ones are for the older generation. But this one right here is one of those ones. But since I had a duplicate of Love a Lot Bear, I repainted this one. It, there's so much lighting here. Uh, but I repainted this one to look like Cheer Bear since I really, really wanted a Cheer Bear. And I didn't have one. So I wanted to make one. So I repainted her. Now over here is my Novi Stars doll. This is Ari Roma. I'm not going to pick her up or touch her at all because if you know anything about Novies, is that they do not stand on their stands very well. You, The second you just touch them with the tip of your finger, they're going to fall over. And I have a lot of tiny toys here and I don't want to accidentally lose them. So, yeah, got to be really careful. And there's my Peanut Big Top who came with that packaging that doubles as a house, so I kept that house. And then there's... Um, Rosie Bumps and Bruises, and Stumbles Bumps and Bruises. Oh, and there's um, Ari Roma's pet, O2, in the background. There's her little pet. So, yep. And this is a little rat. His name is Shriver. He is one of my friends. He's very cute. Say hi, Shriver. Say hi to YouTube. Yay! He's very cute. I love him. Okay, anywho. <laughs> Gotta stand up. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Now let's move along. Moving along, moving along, not showing you my dirty, messy floor. <laughs> okay, over here is my Monster High collection. Yay! Okay, so right here I have 
my Nathan Rot. Just by looking at him, you can tell that you should not trust me with boy dolls. Like, you really, really shouldn't, because they will end up shirtless, and they will have cute little ponytails in their hair. Don't worry, his shirt is down there, and his diary and stuff is there. I haven't put his stuff away. <laughs> it's just lying here. Um, but I need to move it so I can make space for more dolls when I get any. If, if I get any more, I don't know. And here's my Frankie. And Claudine. I have Gulia, Draculaura, Abby, and Rochelle. Now, again, like I said before, when it comes to dolls, when they're in my care, they never stay in their own original outfits. So, just to let you know, this is Swim Class Rochelle. This is Music Festival Abby, um, Scarish Draculaura, um, Skultimate Roller Maze Gulia, and, okay, well you can tell this is Haunt the Casva Claudine. This Frankie that has been called a miscellaneous doll because she doesn't fit in with any particular, um, um, series or set or whatever, like, I kept searching and she doesn't come in any particular series or set, and I had her when she was in the box, and I kept reading the box. She didn't have anything on her. Yeah, like, you saw my review of her, so. If you did. I'm not sure how long you've been around, but, yep, that was one of my Monster High reviews. And then there's Nathan, again. And, yeah, Gulia was my first ever one. I, I love her so much. So, yep, those are my Monster Highs. And there's a spider there. I really like that spider, he's very cute. And I guess that's it for my entire toy collection. Yeah, <laughs> sorry this video is so long, we're almost at 22 minutes now. Um, please like, favorite, subscribe, comment if you really like my videos. Um, yep, subscriptions, comments, likes and favorites, all of it, much appreciated. Um, don't forget to um, follow me on DeviantArt, maybe even Tumblr, if you're into that sort of thing, or even follow me on um, uh, SoundCloud if you want to hear me sing. Um, I'm going to do some singing eventually, and if you want to hear anything like that, uh, be sure to follow me there, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!